Hey, welcome back to Everything Money. Today, Mo and I are going to go over an often confusing topic about the stochastics that Mo uses when trading. If you're interested in potentially trading in a faster pace, you can join Mo in our community in the Binance Nation. And a question we get all the time is, what are the stochastics you're looking at? Now, folks, when Mo flips on this board, it's going to look a smidge confusing. It is a language, a trading language that you have to learn. And if you've ever learned another language, it takes time. So this is not something you can maybe pick up in the next few hours. It might take weeks, months, or even. But for me, it's been a learning process. And Mo's going to share his thoughts about the two main stochastics we're going to look like, basically the levels that we look at when investing with a stock, whether it's a day trade, momentum trade, long-term swing trade. Go ahead, Mo. So stochastics are very important and they are probably the most important part of trading. And I always say the trend is your friend. How many times have you heard yes, me say that? Yes, of course. When I say the trend is your friend, we're talking about stochastic. So right now, the biggest two, the biggest two to look at are your daily and your weekly. This is going to be your weekly. So your weekly stochastic, what this basically tells you is the trend of the stock over weeks, weeks long of periods. Now, we can speed it up. We can go to a daily chart, a little more detailed chart. You're going to notice there's a lot more going on here, a lot more fluctuations. That's because you're seeing the trend that's each day. So every day you're getting that fluctuation. This is the buying and selling trend. Exactly. So if you're a person that can sit on your computer for a uh, days and or this is what you do for a living you can absolutely sit here and do day trades because this moves a lot quicker you're going to have a lot more enter entries and exits now if you want to do more long-term stuff like the employed trader series for example you can tell this doesn't really fluctuate i mean well, this is a positive trend and this is a positive trend for several months on end so that's kind of the difference between the two the long-term and the daily stochastic and so you have a low level that you'd like the the trading Volume? Yep. Is it the volume that wants? Yes. You no, it's, so it's the overall trend. Good question. So what yeah. Seth is talking about are these lines right here. This red line right here and this red line right here. These lines I have determined are when you are in between those lines, that's when you're going to have the highest probability to make money. This and is I, a sweet spot. I call that the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So this area right inside of here, it, this is all your sweet spot. That's where you are going to have the highest confidence that a, the trend is going to stay positive or negative, depending on the direction you're going in, long or short. And B, it's not going to do something crazy and you're going to get burned on it. And C, you're going to be able to enter that stock at a, at a good point and exit it, more importantly, and keep profits in your pocket at a different point. So this level right here, is, for your uh, convenience, is 32% and this is 80%. How did you come we'll up with these numbers, that. Mo? So you realize, you notice that when a stock comes down through the sweet spot, and we'll go over that, and then it starts to go sideways, you can kind of tell that this red line, it was starting to create that upward trajectory. Mm -hmm. And you can see that that was back in August. And since August, it kind of entered the sweet spot barely and it's fallen out. Yeah, what gives? So that to me, this is where I kind of developed that. I always realized that below 32%, that was kind of my confirmation to say, okay, it's, it's above 32%. There's a high probability that this thing is going to continue to go higher. And anything below that, I always realized that it, would, it was very variable. It could fluctuate and it could come all the way back down here. And that, that to you as a trader means that you're going to be losing money. So... It was more of trial and error over the last 18 years of figuring out where I drew those numbers, and that's the reason that those so numbers So one of the are. initial steps we're doing when looking at a stock on a trading platform like this is we're going to, if we want to buy to, to make money, we want this heading up through the sweet spot as the red line crosses over the yellow and enters our zone, the sweet spot, we'll then start actively making moves and following our rules. And so what, what goes on from there? Correct. So... Let's, let, so we're zoomed out here, and we're going to take Apple, for example. The, the next thing that when you're in the, in the stochastic and making sure you're going through the sweet spot, you want your red line, which is your percent K, that's going to be um, on top of the yellow line. And these are all, you, if you really want to know what percent K and percent yes. D means, go to Investopedia, read about it. You, you math people will love it. But once you're in that sweet spot and you have this upward trajectory, then it's, it's easy from there. You invest in a stock, you make sure you get a good engulfing candlestick, and you just ride this thing. And the best part about long-term trading is that you can ride this for a very long time. This, we caught this in the Employed Trader Series. This was an 11% run that we made in a matter of three weeks. So if you would have followed rules here with Apple, you would have done quite well. You would have done quite well because you had your red line on top of your yellow, moving through the sweet spot, great movement of your candlesticks. And then right when you get up, up into the overbought area, now you say, Mo, we're over 80%. What do we do? 
Oh, being over 80%, that just tells me that now we're getting into a point where we're overbought, meaning that there's a high probability, high your probability, that the stock price could fall on you. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, it just means that the probability is there. So when you get into this area, now you just wanna start kind of paying attention. You've had a good three week run, now you wanna start paying attention, when am I gonna exit this thing? When am I gonna take profits on this thing? You don't need to do that until you get something like this, where your red line starts to drop, and move into the sweet spot in the negative direction. This is like a short. This is position. like a short, exactly. And the great thing about trading on charts and learning in the bid and ask nation is that you can make money going up like this. And if Apple does in fact come down, you're gonna be able to make money all the way back down to maybe the level that we started at going long. And it's the exact same thing. If you actually flip the chart over, it's gonna look exactly the same, just in the opposite direction. If this sounds like gibberish and you've made it this far, it certainly sounded that way to me, but you can learn this. This is a language and you can join the Everything Money community. Talk to Mo on a daily basis. Uh, over seven, 800 people in the bid and ask. Yeah. That, that if you felt alone out there, you can join our team in our community where they're talking about all the companies that are making moves in the morning. And I have I have put the app, our software, and, and joining our Discord, Mo, on our my daily calendar of just getting involved. And it may take some time, but I have friends Mo, we have a mutual friend who literally was a fearful of investing his money at all, had it in a, in a bank account making one and a half percent. And next thing you know, he's talking stochastics yep. and trading money. It, it can be done. You have to stick to the rules yep. in a more robotic, disciplined manner, but it can be done. And you can join Mo in the Bidness Nation at everythingmoney.com and um, you get access and to him. The so. great thing is we created a, tra a trading 101 series. So all of your questions can be answered in there. Like Seth just said, you have over 800 people that you can go and ask those questions to. And if you're interested in doing it long term, like I just said, you have it. If you're interested in doing it short term, this is more of a day to day. This is more day to day. All of these fluctuations are exactly the same thing I just showed you. It's just at a faster pace. And so you can make money quicker if you want to and be more active with it. That's our take on stochastics. Hopefully you weren't too confused. Stay with it, watch our videos, and you'll get this. Um, thanks for watching. Follow the thumbs up. Join our community below. And that's it, Mo. You handsome devil, you. That's it. See you guys. Bye.